In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to use the eCampus student tracking system. I'll show you how to log in, I'll demonstrate how to log your time within the system, how to access your course, and finally how to print the student parent verification report. A couple of notes before we begin. For fall and spring semesters, you need to log a minimum of 400 minutes or about 7 hours per week per course. That time increases during the summer to a minimum of 800 minutes or about 14 hours per week for each eCampus full credit course you're enrolled in. For all half credit courses, the time requirement remains at 400 minutes during the summer session. To begin, you will need to access the student tracking system from the eCampus Virtual High School website. You can get to the eCampus site from the Peoria Unified School District's main page. Once you are at the main site, hover over the Our District tab located at the top of the page. Then click on the eCampus Virtual High School link. Now would be a good time to save this page for quick access later. Now that you are at the Peoria eCampus Virtual High School website, locate the link called Student Track on the left hand menu. The link will redirect you to the student login page of the tracking system. At this time, you will need to enter your Peoria Unified student username and password. Once logged in, you will see at the top an announcements section where we post important and upcoming information. Furthermore, you will then see a table at the bottom that contains the course number, the name of the course or courses you have or are currently taking this school year, the teacher's name, and email, and the start and end date of the classes. If you were just enrolled in the course, please allow 24 to 48 hours for your course to appear in the tracking system. If, after 48 hours, you still are not seeing your eCampus class in the tracking system, notify your instructor immediately. So to begin tracking your time, click on the name of the course you want to track time for. All right, let me briefly describe this layout. You have two links at the top. One is called Add Time and the other Go to Moodle. The Add Time link is how you will log the time spent on your course, which I will show you shortly how to use. The Go to Moodle link will take you to the web page that lists all of our eCampus Moodle courses. In the middle of the page, you have a three column table that shows all the time spent on the course, which I will explain in a minute. You also have two buttons at the bottom called Go Back to Course Listing and Log Out of eCampus. If you click on the Go Back to Course Listing, this will take you to the previous screen that showed all of your courses. Finally, you have a link at the top right hand corner called Click Here to Print the Parent Report, which will be one of the last things I demonstrate to you. So, to add time spent on the course, click on the link Add Time. You will see a calendar on the left. Click on the day of the week that you want to enter time for. As soon as you do that, you will notice the date will then appear on the right. Next, enter the time and hours and or minutes you spent on the course that day. You will notice that if you try and enter, for example, 90 in the minutes box, that the system will not allow you to do that. You can only enter a number between 0 and 59 in the minutes box. So in this example, you would just enter a 1 in the hours box and of course 30 in the minutes box. As soon as you do that, click OK, and you will see a message in red that says time saved. I also want to stress this important part of a tracking system. As a student, you only have the ability to enter and edit time for the current and previous weeks. If you attempt to click on a date that is not in the current or previous weeks, you will receive the following message that says you can only enter and edit time for the current and previous weeks. Therefore, it is extremely important you log your time consistently to avoid this situation. In the event you do forget to enter your time and the window has passed for you to log your time this in the system, then contact your instructor and provide them with the exact dates and time spent. Now I just stated that you can edit time for the current and previous weeks. There is one exception to this rule. You cannot enter time for any future dates even within the current week. If you attempt to enter time for any future date, you will see the message future, future dates cannot be entered. 
Let's go ahead and click on the close and this will take you back to the table. So let's now turn our attention to working inside this table. The column with a plus sign allows you to expand to see a breakdown of all the time spent that week. It will show the login date, how many minutes you logged that day, and then two buttons. The button that is red with a white X is your delete button. If for any reason you made a mistake and want to delete the time entered, just click on the red circle with the white X. The other button is your edit button. If you want to add or adjust your time for a particular day, then you will need to use the edit button. You will not use the add time link to add more time for the same day. In the example shown on the screen, I've already logged time for this date. If I click on the add time link and attempt to log time for this same day, I will get the following message alert that says you have previously logged time for this day. Please click on the edit button to adjust your time. So all you will need to do is to click on the edit button for that particular day, enter your additional time, click OK, the time will be saved. I'm going to click on close and now the time has been adjusted. You can use the edit button in those instances where you log time, let's say for example in the morning, and then later that evening you spend more time working on the course. The middle column, called week, all have specific dates. All the dates that you're seeing on the table fall on a Monday. So when logging your time for an eCampus week, the week begins on Monday and ends on Sunday. Again, if you recall at the beginning of this video, I stated the weekly time requirement for all eCampus courses. So for the fall and spring semesters, each week, beginning on Monday and ending on Sunday, you need to log a minimum of 400 minutes. The last column, called weekly minutes, simply shows the total minutes spent that week. This column is a quick visual reminder to you to make sure you are logging the appropriate time for your eCampus courses. There is another link at the top of the table called Go to Moodle. eCampus Virtual High School uses the learning management system called Moodle to deliver our online courses. Click on the Moodle link. It will then redirect you to our eCampus Moodle site that contains our courses and additional resources. Click on a course category to view the course listings. Once you click on a course, you will be required to enter your district username and password. If you miss the in-person orientation, you may be prompted to enter an enrollment key. Email your instructor to obtain the enrollment key. Finally, all students are required to submit a hard copy of the final report that shows the total time spent on the course. To access this report, at the top right hand corner of the tracking system, you will see a link called Click Here to Print the Parent Report. Click on that link. Then, click on the drop down arrow and select Parent Verification. A report will then be generated that will show your name and other course information at the top, a weekly breakdown of your logged minutes, and the total minutes spent on the course. You and your parent and or guardian will need to sign and date this report. This is a requirement to exit the course and your instructor will collect the report when you take your in-person final exam. You can print this report by clicking on the printer icon located at the top right hand of the screen. You can also click on the drop down arrow next to the disk icon and save the report as a PDF to print from another location. One more final note on this report is that your parent and guardian has access to the same report on their parent verification system. Before you log out, there's one more button I want to explain. The button called Go Back to Course Listing will take you back to that screen that shows all of your eCampus courses. This is important because you need to log time for every single eCampus course you're enrolled in. Alright, to properly log out, just click on that button, Log Out of eCampus.